I'm gonna move to some Kerbal Space Program, so... I would consider trying to make a rocket, but... I think I might say that for another video, I really want to try to make a fucking... Really good plane or jet. Ideas all heck. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to set one up that one. But I'm gonna do what I can. Now I do have the not a prototype, but a um no, I guess a prototype of something that I was able to get to glide and it hits a decent speed, but it's not fast. And it's not amazing. So you hit load. Come on, game. Thank you. The Mantic Ladder. The rest of those, the ones that say stock are the presets. The Mantic Ladder is something I had to spend about two hours making. Now, a little bit of the recording at the bottom is cut out. It's because of the way the game is set up in Windows mode, in window mode, so I can't fix it. I'm very sorry about that. my infamous little manta glider is this. So that bit. Oh shit, for throttle. Now, I did make a previous video that some issue with the audio is the thrusters are too loud. Make a small voice, I'll try to explain what's happening. I still may be doing that now, but I reduced the sound a lot, so it might not be. I'm hoping it's not. I'm not gonna stop with the oh crap, I messed up. As far as amnesia goes, it's not stopping. I'm just taking a break from it. Amnesia is not gonna come back, I'm just. I wanna do some other recordings. I'm gonna do this a bit. I'm gonna try to be Resident Evil 4 on normal mode on my own time and then record Resident Evil 4 on hard. Yeah, I've done that before, I've been on hard before, but I want to experience that, people might. I mean, it's not something I'm completely used to, really. I read it, I think, once, I mean, maybe once or twice back in the GameCube, I've read it. I read it 22 times on my own profile. Yeah, I loved Resident Evil 4. But, um, yeah, I will play through Resident Evil 4, I'll play more in Asia, I may play more of it too, I'm not sure. Um, I find my consider Far Cry 3 is so I don't know how well I'm going to run. Ah, crap. I'm running some issues here. Well, so, so far for the queue list, Amnesia, Resident Evil 4, possibly Far Cry 3, and maybe Payday 2. Anything else needs to be recommended? Now, to some of my more smarter, more intelligent friends are watching this. Um, anybody good at Kerbal Space Program? Or at least I'm just getting engineering. Probably better than I do. So I'm very much love some advice. Let me have it make something nice on here. Maybe I should talk to my friend Sean, because he's, uh, he's like a professional at this game. And this is all that I managed to make. And obviously it's still buggy. It's all there it goes. And we have the lighting lift off. Oh no. Do no I cannot tilt this thing to the right or left, otherwise it will spiral out of control badly. I kind of want to just glide for now. But look at this beauty. I wonder if I can go to the cockpit view. 
control from here. I want to do it. Oh, okay, well, let me. Well, there's a way to do a cockpit view. I just don't know how. Looks like my frame rate's dropping. Yeah, it is. Weird. But yeah, this is Kerbal Space Program. And this is my one creation. Trying to land softly in the ocean. Come on. Okay, I think I got this. Nope. <laughs> Semantic letter. Um, I can't believe it took me five minutes. Seriously, it's almost six. Ooh, just to get that done? Dang. I gotta close the next door now. Okay, so that's the magic letter. I love this thing. Let's try something new. Cancel. Boom. Yeah, but if anybody's like watched a lot of Call of Space program and played it, plays it personally, I'll give some advice here. Here, yeah, I'm gonna pause the recording until I get a bit more built. Nobody asks what this is, because I don't even know. I'm just gonna call it the Behemoth. It's basically five boosters, all welded together with a couple wings. Let's go launch this. I've also considered, uh, play, I have played Game of Thrones on here, and I could record that, but, I don't know, honestly, I'm not sure if anybody would really want to watch that. Play Game's cool game, I watch this, I don't think anybody would really want to watch it. Oh, jeez, there was an explosion. Yay! Whammy kablam. Time for editing. Okay, so before it loads, I added more wheels and I put the wheels under couplers. So what's gonna happen? It's gonna go full throttle. It's gonna go flying down, the, hopefully flying down the runway. And at the end of the runway, I decouple the wheels. Yeah, this looks pretty good actually. Mm. <laughs> Can I actually control that? Oh, out of the air. <laughs> uh, I gotta try this again. Okay, so I edited the behemoth like a lot. Here we go. No, they weren't. <laughs> the staging was right. At least I know they did couple now. Okay, attempt number two in the behemoth. Don't fail me now, behemoth. If I can reduce the weight in the front, maybe I can make it pick up the back. Pick up. Reduce the weight in the front or increase the weight in the back. That's what I need to do. Okay, so I think we're going to do this on day here with me editing the behemoth a bit. And when it ends, I'll start up the next video. Okay, so what can I do to make the behemoth more stable at least? I can add another wheel right there. That would actually be very helpful. Um, structural over one. So, try. Okay, and the video will end. So, I want it. Yeah. In about a couple of seconds.